Yo what's up guys Karan plays here and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be taking a look at some fifa 21 content in sir fifa 20 we're going to be taking a look at the top 20 highest rated fifa 21 players and disclaimer guys this is not my opinion this is what i think ea sports will assign to the players and without further ado let's get into number 20 sergio aguero takes up the number 20 spot he should in my opinion retain that 89 rating i mean i know he scored a lot of goals and was injured for quite a while but there was nothing to you know say that he should be downgraded and at least he should be maintaining his rating in the 19th spot and making his first appearance in fifa top 20 we've got tony cruz right here la liga champions for the 34th time real madrid he played an important role in getting them there and well he definitely deserves these upgrades i mean plus 5 pace at the minimum right now he's actually unusable in game and that's really really contradictory to what he is in real life plus to shooting also plus 1 in dribbling and plus to defending i think passing is the only stat that's right on his card right now the rest definitely need some upgrading joining tony cruz in the top 20 we've got another real madrid player tibao courtois in the number 18 spot he won the zamora trophy for this season and well he had the likes of ter stegen and oblak to beat that's not an easy job at all which is why he definitely deserved this upgrade he should at the very least be an 89 rated player i can also see him coming up to a 90 but for now that's what i'm going with taking up the 17th spot we've got harry who should have squared at kane I did not know where to place him. I mean, I could have easily placed him below Courtois and Cruz, but I've just gone with number 17 for him. Doesn't really matter. All of them are going to be 89 rated, but he definitely did not deserve to be downgraded because in 34 appearances if you get 24 goals, that's a pretty great output. I mean, he's obviously gone through some managerial changes that did bring about a different set of tactics, which is why getting 24 goals in 34 appearances is not a bad output at all. Next up, our first player from the Serie A, we've got Kaidu Koulibaly. I know this is another one that's a bit controversial because Napoli aren't performing the best in Serie A. Koulibaly though, I think Napoli would have been in a way worse condition that they are in right now if it weren't for Koulibaly. I do believe he's one of the best center backs in the world and he should definitely retain his rating. I mean, the likes of Manchester City and all don't come sniffing if you aren't one of the best in the business. Our last and final 89 rated player in this top 20. I do believe some players like Raheem Sterling, Ciro Immobile could have gotten in. but i wanted to restrict it to the top 20 and i guess this is what the list is going to be looking like alisson the last player 89 rated last season i do believe he should stay at 89 but liverpool have won the premier league and as i've seen in the past few fifas ea sports tends to boost the ratings of the champions of the leagues a little too much so don't be shocked if a player like jordan henderson ends up with a 88 rated card Moving on from one top goalkeeper to another, Mark Andre Ter Stegen, our first 90 plus rated player in this list. He definitely deserves to be up there. I mean, along with his consistency, the number of saves he's made for Barcelona, I mean, their defense has been really really suspect at times. He has bailed them out a lot this season and definitely deserves to be the second highest goalkeeper in FIFA 21. Taking the 13th spot, we've got Luka Modric, another league winner himself, obviously with Real Madrid. Our third Real Madrid player in this list. Luka Modric deserves to be 90 rated but as we've seen EA Sports hates people above the age of 30 so yeah he's probably going to get a lot of stats downgraded especially his physical and pace not too sure about the shooting and defending but yeah these are the downgrades that I've gone with I do believe he might get downgraded in stats wise but overall wise he should be retaining it In the number 12 spot we've got a defender who basically can do it all one of the best defenders maybe of all time also Sergio Ramos definitely definitely deserves the upgrade i mean at least a 90 rated i can even see him going up to a 91 but because of his age i'm just going to keep it at 90 if he doesn't get an upgrade i'm going to be shocked falling from the top 10 this year Eden Hazard he's not going to be in the top 10 definitely going to get downgraded man he himself said it Worst season of his personal career, and yeah, man, I mean, injury plagued and all, but still, really, really underwhelming. He deserves this downgrade. He's going to be a 90 rated player at least for next season. Might just get downgraded to 89, which, in my opinion, will be a bit too harsh. But I really can't see that happening. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for: the top 10 highest rated players of FIFA 21. We kick things off really, really strongly here. Kylian Mbappe takes up that 10th spot. The FIFA 21 cover star himself. could be you know in the 9th spot but i guess sala might just edge him to that or maybe it could be the other way around but yeah definitely one of those two are going to be in 10th and 9th spot respectively 
here he is in the 9th spot as I just said Mo Salah still gonna be 90 rated in my opinion didn't do much to you know warrant an upgrade but definitely did enough to retain this rating a new addition to the 90 rated club we've got Sadio Mane right here definitely gonna get upgraded I mean if it's not 90 I'm gonna be really really shocked I mean in my opinion definitely deserves to be above Mo Salah and yep he should get these upgrades plus two shooting plus two passing plus one dribbling plus two defending and plus one physical I mean the way Liverpool play the way they press these upgrades are the bare minimum back to back to back Liverpool players little too many Liverpool players in this list for my liking I mean I'm a Man United fan and seeing these many Liverpool players in the top 20 is a bit scary but that's the reality man that's what you've got to do to you know win the Premier League title they've done it really really well they deserve these ratings I do believe Van Dijk should retain that 90 rated overall I mean in my opinion he was I mean the best centre back in Premier League for sure but the level at which he was in last season I don't think he was able to replicate it this season surely they won the title which is why he should at the very least retain his overall rating but considering Liverpool are the champions he might just get a 91 rated card at spot number 6 we've got the one and only Yano Black in my opinion the best keeper in the world right now which is why he should be the highest rated in FIFA 21 he's already 91 rated and that is the rating he should be in FIFA 21 also so yeah no changes there let's now move on to the top 5 FIFA 21 is gonna be mad I mean the 5th highest rated player he's gonna be 92 at least Kevin De Bruyne in my opinion he should have won the Premier League player of the season I don't know how has Jordan Anderson won it but yeah Kevin De Bruyne I mean he's got 33 goal contributions with 20 assists and 13 goals equal theory on this record and easily could have beaten it but did not do so still man 20 assists and 13 goals absolutely phenomenal should at least be 92 rated in FIFA 21 the fourth spot falling from number three to number four Neymar Jr I do believe he'll be getting some minor upgrades on his stats but yeah overall rating will be the exact same 92 Neymar Jr could also be the fifth highest rated and De Bruyne the fourth highest but the top three should remain exactly how I'm gonna show it to you the third highest rated player in FIFA 21 deservedly should be Robert Lewandowski I mean last year also he was underrated 89 was really really low for him I mean he should have at least been a 90 rated player last season this year there will be riots if he isn't 92 rated I mean third highest at the very least he has to get a major major upgrade in FIFA 21 I've gone with plus 3 shooting plus 3 passing plus 1 pace and plus 1 dribbling that could be boosted a bit more I mean at least the shooting part I mean he should be one of the best shooters in FIFA 21 y'all 100% I'm pretty sure have guessed the top 2 Cristiano Ronaldo takes the second number spot which means Leo Messi will be the highest rated player in FIFA 21 but Cristiano Ronaldo man I mean I don't know how but he's actually had a season much better than his last one he's already scored 30 plus goals in Serie A fantastic performance from a 35 year old I mean not too shabby man I do believe he might just get downgraded in either the physical or pace part but we could also be seeing an upgrade to a shooting or passing or maybe even dribbling in my opinion I've seen a lot of reports saying that he might fall down to a 92 but I do believe he deserves to retain that 93 rated overall as Cristiano Ronaldo took that second number spot Leo Messi will be the highest rated player in FIFA 21 if he doesn't get a 94 rated card I'm gonna be shocked man 34 goals 20 plus assists in one single season absolutely mind-blowing I can actually see him get a plus one in his passing but that all depends on EA man I do believe EA gonna make Kevin De Bruyne the best passer in the game but they might and should also make Messi as good as him I mean 20 plus assists 30 plus goals mind-blowing he definitely deserves to be the highest rated player in FIFA 21 and with that we come to the end of the top 20 highest rated players of FIFA 21 if you all enjoyed this video smash that like button let me know down in the comment section below who you think are going to be in the top 20 FIFA 21 highest rated players. If you all agreed or disagreed with any one of these ratings, let me know down in the comment section below. And yeah, if you all enjoyed this video and would like to see more such content, hit that like button, let me know and obviously share this with your friends. Subscribe if you're new around here for more such FIFA 20 and 21 content.